Hey guys, I have been seeing these super fun um, classroom headers and um, slides that I thought you may want to try. One of my favorite things to do is to waste time making things cute, so I thought I would do a little tutorial for you so um, you could make one for your Google Classroom or your slides. We will do the Google Classroom header first. And the first thing you want to do is change the size of your um, thing you're working on. So you will go to File and Page Setup and Custom. And the size that seems to work the best for headers is 16.67 by 4.17. So just put those numbers in, click Apply. And then that'll show you the size of your header that you're working with. The next thing you're going to want to do is um, change your background. So this was all a background so that kids can't move things around um, when they're in there if it's a slide. Good search words are floor and wall background. Um, you could also put classroom in. I saw some of those. Um, you could also say brick wall with floor or if you didn't want a brick wall you could put something else in. Once you scroll through those images and you find something you like you're going to have to save it um, to your computer for the background. And then click background, choose an image that was saved on our computer. So I'm going to click there, find it, and insert it. And then you can see how it's kind of stretchy because it's a header. So here's a good image that didn't stretch out. And now the super fun part, putting all the furniture and other things in that you want. So the key to this is making sure that things are transparent. So when you go to search, make sure you put the word transparent um, in your search so that it will bring up um, furniture without a background. So here's a cute green sofa. I'm going to right click on it and copy it. Now we can just copy and paste because we're not doing a background. So copy that, paste it, and see how it had the background still there so that one won't work. So just keep searching. Um, a workaround for that would be to get rid of the background in PowerPoint if you wanted to do that. But you can keep searching until you find one that does have a transparent background. Scroll up, and here's a cute green one. Right click, copy that image, and then we're going to paste it and see how he does not have a background there. So then you're just going to um, size it down, size it up, whatever, to make it proportional in your room, um, in your virtual classroom. Move it around where you think you want it. I'm thinking I want to have a table um, and then a big bulletin board, so I'm going to kind of put it over to the side. I'm going to grab me a table. Again, copy image and then paste it, which is Command V on a Mac. Size that down. Hmm, to which side do I want it on? I'm going to put it over here. Um, making sure I kind of it looks proportional. See how it's kind of in front of the sofa here, and I want it to look like it's to the side and back. If you um, right click here, so you can change the order of how things are laid out. So you'll go to order, send this to the back, and then you see how it puts it behind the sofa. So things are put on when you add things, they're put on and they come to the front when you um, copy and paste them in. So you can do this to anything. I'm going to put a little bulletin board there, and that's just going to be a simple shape, a little square. It automatically fills it white. Once you make your square, I'm going to add a border on it so it kind of looks like it's hanging. So I make the color black and then change it to maybe 8 um, point so that it makes it a little bit thicker. But that's just whatever you think you want there. So there's my whiteboard. Next, um, you could add a computer if you wanted. Um, I did that and added one on the table on my other slide. You could also put in um, a bookshelf. So I searched for bookshelves, um, and since everything in this one is sort of looking more um, realistic, I kind of wanted one that looked like real books for this. So that first one, hmm, first one was it. So I'm going to right click and copy, and then right click, um, and then Command V to paste that. Move it around to where you get it where you like it. I've tried to keep this simple because it's just a um, header, so you don't want it to be too um busy. And then I wanted to find a plant to make things pretty. 
So I'm going to copy that image, paste it, and I'm going to put him over on my table and size it down so it looks like it's proportional. Next, you can add some art to the walls. If you already have something that's in your room hanging up, you could just take a screenshot of um, that if it was a file. Um, I just went to Teachers Pay Teachers and got a free um, inspirational poster file and just screenshot each picture that you want to hang. And then once you've got everything screenshotted, you're just going to insert an image find it. All the screenshots are always just right there on your desktop and open it. And then you'll just have to resize that until you have it like you want it. And you may not be able to see them perfectly, but it'll it'll look like it'll look like art hanging up. I thought that green sofa would look pretty with like three little pictures hanging behind it. So I just kept adding until all of my pictures were behind the sofa and resized how I wanted it. Um, to make them look more like pictures, you could um, give them an outline. Um, and so I kind of tested and played around and did like a one point, um, three and four. And then uh, once I saw kind of which one I liked, I changed them all to that. And I thought the four point looked the best because it gave it just a little bit of a frame, but not as thick as my big whiteboard. Next, they were still kind of off-centered a little bit. Um, and one a quick little way that you can move things around or images around is with your arrows. So if you just highlight it and then move your arrows right or left, up and down, it'll move those around. And then the last thing is to add in your Bitmoji. So if you already have that Bitmoji Chrome extension um, added, then you can just hit your little icon. It's good to um, search for Pose because you want a full body um, Bitmoji on your classroom for this. Or you could put Sit or Stand. Um, any of those would work. But then you'll just do the same thing. Right click, copy the image, and then paste it. I did not want my uh, girl facing that way, so to change that, you can just rotate that and flip it horizontal, and she will flip around and face the direction that you want. Um, and then just kind of adjust it to where you like it, and that is that. Since this is your header and the first thing that kids are going to see when they go to your classroom, you could, on your um, whiteboard, write things um, like welcome, your office hours, um, things that we have put on there for this, any important things you want to put on there. Um, and then that way that's the first thing they see. Just remember that it's going to be a gray overlay on this and um, so you want to make sure everything is real bright. The next thing you may want to do is a Google slide for your assignments. You could make your bulletin board look like a to-do list. Um, it could have links on it to forms or slides or videos that you want your kids to watch. Um, any Anywhere you want them to go could be put as a link on this and that would look super cute for them um, to do. So to do that you just do the same thing we did by creating your virtual classroom and then just adding in a text box and you're gonna get your form so you would go to send got that link and then where it says fill out this form I'm gonna highlight that and click the link button and then paste that link to my form that way when they click on the form It'll get, take them straight to there. You could also do a video the same way. Um, and then I just add a little note to the side to tell them to click on these things so they can see it. It'd just be a cute way to jazz up your little slide. Just make sure that when you do this, you screenshot the whole thing and make it a background before you add in your links so that kids can't move things around. I hope this was helpful um, for you and let me know if you have any questions at all. I can walk you through it, help you um, get something in there that you want um, to do. So I can't wait to see all of your virtual classrooms on your Google headers and slides.